Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get some clean white toned uh, colorings in your images. So this is actually a request from one of my viewers and it's pretty much for a lot of those photos that you take. So they may not necessarily be fashion shots, but they might be uh, family photos or uh, wedding photos and you just really need some clean um, tones in your images. So I've done a couple of similar tutorials before, but this is really about kind of removing specifically in photographs the yellow um, that can sometimes uh, really be saturated in photographs. Like in this particular photograph here, uh, it's very yellow toned and obviously you can remove that in raw. Uh, but if you're really just looking to kind of get those clean tones in Photoshop, this is kind of the tutorial that I'm going to do today. So we're going to start off with a curves adjustment layer and we don't want to bring the shadows up too much or the highlights down too much because we do want those clean um, tones in the image and we don't want it to be uh, too flat looking we want the the highlights and the shadows to stay intact so the first point we're going to put in is just 0 and 0 which is already there the next point we're going to make is 32 and 33 And then the next point will be 131 and 113. Then the next point will be 223 and 205. And the last point will be 255, which is already there. So now we're going to move on and bring up a solid color. And this one's going to be 9, 6. B, 0, A, F. We'll press OK. So this is kind of like a light blue color. It's quite uh, a pale color. So that's what we need for clean tones. So we're going to set this to soft light at 50%. So if we just remove that layer, we can see that it's really taken a lot of the harsh yellow tones out of the image and just softened it up a little bit because we want these clean tones to be quite soft as well. So we're going to bring up selective color now. And this is where we're going to get, a, get rid of like a lot of the, the yellow tones in the image. So we're going to go into the yellows first. And for the cyans, we're going to go plus 10. For magenta, we're going to go plus 10. So that will sort of counteract the yellow in the photograph. And for the yellows, we're going to go minus 35. So already just by doing that, uh, that takes a lot of the yellow tones out of the image. And then we'll just leave the blacks at zero. Now we'll go to the neutrals. And the neutrals and the cyan, we're going to set that to plus five. So same sort of thing, counteracting the yellows in the image. The magenta, we're going to set to minus two. And the yellow, we're going to set to minus five. So really, that's made a huge difference with selective color there. We're just going to turn it on and off. So it's really just evened out the image a little bit, brought a few cooler tones like back into the image as well. So we're going to bring up now another solid color. And this one's going to be 777 EAE. -E. We'll press OK. This is more of a lavender tone color and we're going to set this to soft light as well at 30% and the reason I'm setting these colors to soft light is because it's really not affecting the shadows and the highlights too much in the image. As I said before, it's good to, to kind of keep them intact if you're looking to get clean tones. So the lavender has just kind of removed any more of the yellow tones out of the way. So now we're just going to focus back on the lighting of the image and we're going to bring up levels. And we're going to bring the shadows just over to 18 to darken them up a little bit. And we're going to leave the highlights as is because they're already at 255 and they're already quite bright in the image. And now we're just going to make our final adjustment and bring up vibrance. And we're going to move the vibrance across to minus five, just to take any of that real saturation away from the image. So now we have finished. So I'll take a snapshot and show you guys what the before was. So this is the before and this is the after so there's a big difference just by making a few adjustments in Photoshop so this is the before and that's the after 
Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please keep the requests coming as usual and I will see you next time. Bye!